Every building is made up of a variety of what the codes define as building elements and structural elements. They can be as simple as four exterior walls and a roof or as complicated as the many parts that make up a high-rise building. For example, columns, floor ceiling systems, interior walls and vertical shafts all are considered building elements. Structural elements are building elements that actually support the weight of the building and its contents. For example, a column is both a structural element and a building element but a vertical shaft is only a building element. Some of these elements are covered in the construction type chapters of the codes. These requirements will be explained in this course. Additional elements are discussed in other sections of the codes. The codes define the differences in construction types by governing the kinds of materials allowed for construction of each of the structural elements in a building and by establishing minimum hourly fire resistance ratings for each essential building element. The materials that are allowed in each construction type are most often described as non-combustible, limited combustible, and combustible. Depending on the level of fire resistance required, the codes will specify the type of material allowed. For example, Type 1 construction, which requires the highest level of fire resistance, must consist almost completely of non-combustible materials. Combustible materials are only allowed in limited amounts and specific locations. Each construction type also assigns a minimum fire rating to building elements. These ratings are based on the number of hours the building element must be fire resistant, meaning that it will not be adversely affected by flame, heat, or hot gases. Note, though, that fire resistance does not mean fire proof. Instead, it is an hourly fire endurance rating. By controlling each element, the codes are able to regulate the fire resistance of a whole building. On an interior project, the most critical building element will be interior walls, but a particular project scope may affect a number of other elements as well.